is KDK Radio, where I have made a living since the mid-80s, and I have put a lot of time in this place. I appreciate people who put a lot of time into what they do. And the Geneva College place that I call home once a week during the sports season of football and basketball really has some great faculty members and obviously administration, but it's all about that faith-based education. It's an incredible Christian school that really does amazing things. I have family members who have attended there, and I love everything that is Geneva College. And I understand, according to the athletic director and others, that their Hall of Fame ceremonies are going to take place September 14th when the Golden Tornadoes take on Carnegie Mellon. It's the Hall of Fame class of 2019. And next week when I'm at Geneva College, we're going to delve into all of these names. But people like Dr. David Badger, uh, also Allison Clark Hall, women's basketball, Dr. Ken Hartman, men's soccer, Mike Holleran from New Brighton, a football player there in 1995-98. Other names like Tracy Miller, Willie Murray, Troy Nesmith. These are names that are very familiar to me, but we're going to go over the whole list coming up next week. But I wanted to take time to talk about one special member who played football there from 1962 to 1965. You know, I get a little sentimental this time of year because I think about high school football and the decades that I put in doing play-by-play, traveling up and down various communities, following those Friday night lights to do a broadcast and also in television for many years and working here at KDK Radio. But I've only, only been as good as the people that have surrounded me. And one person who was there very early on decades ago when we were both a whole lot younger was Larry Matrazzo. Many of you know him as Traz, but he played at Braddock High School and ended up at Geneva College and then became an assistant with Larry Bruno, went on to become one of the best offensive minds, I believe, in high school football during his time at New Brighton, turning then the struggling Lions program around. But he's also the grandfather to my two children, Robbie and Eva, his amazing children, obviously, uh, Jeff and his uh, daughter, Kelly, along with his amazing wife. And yes, his other grandchild, Lily, just a big part of his huddle. And all I can say is that Larry Matrazzo was the very first coach I ever interviewed on the radio. And he's always been a hero to me. And he truly is one of the most amazing people that I've ever met. But one of the things that I always admired about Larry Matrazzo or Traz was how he loved being an educator. He was a guidance counselor for years and he always took time to listen, and he helped those who needed help. And he still does it today whenever he gets a chance. He's a colorful individual who's a guy that is loved by many. But believe it or not, no matter what any of you think out there, I've known Traz almost four decades, and no one loves him as much as your Pratt Pack. So congratulations on a well-deserved honor going into the Geneva Hall of Fame, where you write for the long passing records that stood for decades. And truly a great athlete, but a better man and an amazing friend. Traz, I love you. Your family loves you. And I know you'll all have a great night at that dinner. And don't forget, we're going to talk all about these members who are going to be enshrined next week when we get back to College Hill to talk to the coach, Gino DeMarco. It's your Pratt Pack. Have a great weekend, everybody, from KDK Radio.